Let's just go to that UN Security Council uh, meeting. I know that uh, two, two of the uh, people that testified uh, there, they've both been on the show, Ray McGovern and Jeffrey Sachs. I don't know what you thought, if you heard. The Under Secretary General appointed by Antonio Guterres, the UN uh, Secretary General, Rosemary Di Carlo, appointed by this, this Antonio Guterres, said the UN is in no position to investigate. This is because there are doubts over the investigations currently being conducted by the uh, Swedish, uh, Danish and German governments into the Nord Stream uh, catastrophe. And she said, uh, she also said she, it was unleashed by the invasion of Ukraine and we should avoid any unfounded accusations. As if kind of backing up some of the Security Council permanent members. I don't know what you thought of Britain's envoy. Uh, single source journalism debunked. I mean, I don't know what you thought of that. <laughs> well, let me, let me tell you something. I, I, I didn't follow it that closely. I read an article about it today, and I did hear about what the, uh, the Brits said, the Britain uh, uh, diplomat said. In America, the president has something called an immense power on the intelligence community. He can give what they call a tasking order to the community. He can say to the, 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 the intelligence officer, we have something called the ONI, Office of National Intelligence, which is with the supreme commander of, of all intelligence assets, including the military. And they have an intelligence office. He could ask them for a complete all source to get access to signals, intelligence, et cetera. He could also ask the CIA directly because they have an intelligence division that does its own work. And there's also a special little black intelligence operation for the covert forces we operations we have there's three large intelligence organizations that have the capacity to get access to all and he has not issued one order he's not asked for any any evaluations jake sullivan the the, um, the guy who had a lot to do with organizing the the initial the initial operation he was the national security advisor he had a news conference in which he said well our, we're having our allies look at it and he mentioned that he didn't talk about his own invest, american investigation the swedes and the danes did do an investigation in september and in october they came out with this astonishing conclusion that indeed something had been something happened under the water and this white house has no not only no incentive to investigate the story they have no incentive to ever to ever deny it I mean, look what they did in late September of, of uh, last year. What, you know, how many, five months ago? Uh, they, 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 had, they could have blown it up any time from, you know, the, I wrote about operations in Norway and all that, the, the, those earlier stories. I wrote about a lot of detail about it um, and um, I, I, an awful lot of detail, including stuff uh, inside some of the White House meetings. So, and I didn't, of course, I didn't name my source. <laughs> and if you notice, if you read it carefully, there's no suggestion my source was ever at any meetings, because the one thing we're good at is tracking people. If I had if I had somebody at a meeting, they would know who was there and they would work from that. At this point, you know, their problem is, um, um, you know, get an illegal wiretap, which I don't think they'll do. 